In recent news, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis are getting ready to move on. From one of their homes, that is. The Hollywood couple is selling their primary Beverly Hills residence for around $13 million and we get to take a look at it. They've been building a brand new modern compound to call home and it's reportedly near completion. So the timing makes sense. Since the pandemic, Ashton, Mila and their two children have been staying at their beautiful beach house in Santa Barbara, which we'll also check out in this video. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. I don't know about you guys, but Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis have got to be one of the cutest meant to be Hollywood couples of all time. If there are any other That 70s Show fans out there, then you know what I mean. Like Jackie and Kelso in real life, it was bound to happen. And you. Oh, good, 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 good. Thank you for telling me, Michael. Christopher Ashton Kutcher, yes, that's his first name, is an actor, producer, and entrepreneur who got his start portraying Michael Kelso in that 70s show, which ran from 1998 till 2006. He then began acting in films, starring in comedies like Dude Wears My Car and rom coms such as Just Married. He also successfully created, produced, and hosted the TV series Punked. His movie and TV roles continued over the years, and beyond entertainment, Ashton is also a venture capitalist. He's the co-founder of the firm A Grade Investments, as well as successfully invested in several high-tech startups, some of which include Skype and Airbnb. Mila Kunis hails from Ukraine but moved to the US at age 7. She was discovered by an agent and landed her first significant role at the young age of 14, playing Jackie on That 70s Show. Apparently her first kiss ever was on screen with her now husband Ashton. Mila has also had plenty of film roles from rom-coms to psychological thrillers like Black Swan and continues to work in Hollywood to this day. Ashton and Mila were married in 2015 and have two young children together. Their current estimated net worth combined is somewhere around $260 million or more, and it's afforded them some beautiful properties over the years. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here in Famous Entertainment. We're noticing a lot of copycat channels popping up, but we're the original house tour connoisseurs, and 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today, we're taking a look at the homes of Hollywood couple Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, including their longtime Beverly Hills home and their retreat in Santa Barbara. We've also done house tours on couples like Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me over on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. This year, amid the pandemic, it was reported that Ashton and Mila were saying goodbye to their longtime Beverly Hills home. The actors turned successful investors were asking nearly $14 million for their primary residence, a home in Coldwater Canyon. Tucked into the mountains above Beverly Hills, their first marital property is in a neighborhood known as Beverly Hills Post Office within a guard-gated community called Hidden Valley. Hidden Valley is one of the most star-studded neighborhoods of all, with celebs like Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban, Cameron Diaz, Jennifer Lawrence, Katy Perry, and many more living down the streets. Ashton and Mila picked up this picturesque property in 2014 for $10.2 million soon after becoming engaged. Now the value has increased with an asking price of just under $14 million. The home was built back in 1999 but upgraded plenty since and inside spans 7,351 square feet with 5 beds and 5.5 baths. The classic East Coast traditional home has beautiful craftsmanship and detail throughout, as well as oak flooring, handcrafted moldings, and French doors to the yard. The home has a stone step entrance and impressive entry hall, leading to the common rooms. There are three floors in total, and the main one has elegant and functional living spaces, including a spacious all-white chef's kitchen with both vintage and modern appliances, and a nearby breakfast nook with built-in seating. This steps down to a casual family room with fireplace, wet bar, and TV. We can also see another living space with huge windows, French doors, another fireplace, and a chic yet comfortable vibe. Ashton and Mila also had a wood paneled office off of the formal living room and a formal step up dining room. Moving upstairs, you'll find the home's four family bedrooms, all of which offered ensuite baths and closets. Ashton and Mila's master suite featured bay windows, dual walk-in closets, and a gorgeous bathroom with freestanding tub and picture window with views to the yard. In the downstairs lower level of the couple's home, 
home is the guest or staff bedroom along with a handful of luxe amenities. There's a temperature controlled wine room with space for hundreds of bottles, a home fitness center and a sauna. Moving to the outside of the home, the lush landscape yard spans over half an acre with rolling lawns and trees, even weeping willows. A stone terrace offers an outdoor kitchen and bar and there's covered patio space as well to dine. Set into the patio is the partially shaded lagoon style swimming pool fit with a grotto and a raised spa. While Ashton and Mila's longtime home is gorgeous, the move isn't particularly surprising. The pair have been working on constructing their titanic modern compound elsewhere in Beverly Hills for a while now, and their dream home, many years in the making, will likely blow this place out of the water. While they await the soon to be completion of this mega mansion, the couple has been quarantining in their oceanfront mansion up north, which we'll take a look at now. In 2017, it was reported that Ashton and Mila dropped $10.1 million in cash on this secluded beach retreat where they've been spending their quarantine low key with the kids. Located in Carpentaria, California, a small oceanside city in Santa Barbara County, it's an ideal spot for some peace and family time, and it's also the home of the world's safest beach, according to Google. This low key and tiny town is about 80 miles northwest of Beverly Hills and directly south of Montecito. And while it's considered part of Santa Barbara, it's slower paced and offers more modest surroundings. Ashton and Mila's six bed, six bath beach house spans 3,100 square feet and is made up of two separate structures. There's a 2,000 plus square foot main house closer to the street and a one story, 1,000 square foot cottage overlooking the beach. And the property spans 0.71 acres of land. Listing information for this place was quite mysterious, offering more of a poem than a description of the estate, but part of it said, as the gate slowly rolls back, you are greeted by a vista of the ocean and islands that beckons you to leave the week's travails behind. You can't wait to race down the path to the beach. Feel the warming sun and cool sea breeze. Listen to the lonesome cry of the gulls and the pounding of the surf. Feel the cool wet sand between your toes. This is the moment you've waited for. I guess this was enough to entice Mila and Ashton. Inside the main house, wide plank, white oak floors and lots of white paint make up the interior. Definitely appropriately beachy. The open kitchen and spacious dining room seem perfect for entertaining guests, but the bar stools certainly don't look too comfy. I'm sure they've since been replaced. Elsewhere, a family room boasts blue couches for a pop of color and a fireplace and mounted TV. On the second floor, there's a large great room sporting a classic look with vaulted ceiling, TV, fireplace, and walls of glass opening to a balcony overlooking the grounds and the ocean. Both structures on the property are styled almost identically, so it's hard to tell which rooms are in which house. Either way, the extra rooms are plentiful and the kids have a few to choose from. There are even bunk beds in them. Of course, there's also a master suite for Ashton and Mila to enjoy, complete with a large private porch of their own to relax on. Outside, a small estuary helps enclose the couple's home with a water barrier. There's also a charming fenced-in front yard. Like nearly all the other houses on the street, Mila and Ashton's spot has no swimming pool, but I guess there's no need when your backyard is the ocean. However, pools are great when you're trying to avoid all that sand. At least there's an above-ground hot tub. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. Ashton Kutcher and Milo Kunis are still in the works of building their brand new modern residence elsewhere in Beverly Hills, and I guess when it gets completed, we might have to do an update. I'm sure that any dream home this successful couple is building will be nothing short of jaw-dropping to say the least. For now, we've taken a look at their long time and first home as a couple in Hidden Valley that they're selling, as well as their $10 million beach retreat in Northern California they spent most of 2020 at. After seeing these two homes, which was your favorite? What would you rate their properties? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. I like the beach house thing, but I'm more of a swimming pool girl myself, and for that reason, I gotta choose the Hidden Valley home. I'm also trying to get to 1,000 subs on my personal channel, so I'd love it if you guys like and subscribe. If you want to see our brand new studio tour where I film all these vids, we'll link you my latest one. If you watch Michael's videos and before they were famous, and we were talking about this with his family the other day, how you're so animated, he's so like loud and like boom. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow. Follow me on Instagram and let me know which celebrity houses you want to see next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.